Okay. This is a story called Joey by Jack Kent. It took me a long time to find it. It's one of my favourite stories about a kangaroo. I think the gentleman who wrote it um, might not be with us anymore. But anyway, this is Joey. And here's Joey in his mum's pouch. So Joey by Jack Kent. Once, if you have a look there, once there was a little, sorry, once there was a little kangaroo named Joey. His mother worried about him, as mothers do. She worried that Joey might get lost. So to keep track of him, she put keys, she put Joey in her pocket. And there she is. And this popped him in her pocket. It was comfortable in the mother's pocket. Joey had been had colouring books and toys to play with, but was hardly it was rather lonely for someone on his own. So there he is. Just him in my mother's pouch. So he invited his friend Betty and his friend Bob, and they all came out to visit. See them visiting Betty and Bob, and they're in the pouch. At first, Joey's friends had fun bouncing around in Mum's pocket. Or oh, Mum looks like she's a little bit exhausted. But after a while, they wanted to do something else. Let's watch TV, said Betty. Oh. Mum's looking really right at this point. I don't have a TV, said Joey. I'll get mine, said Billy. Billy runs off to get his TV. And he did. Now he's bringing back his TV. So we've got three people in the pouch and now a TV. At first they couldn't get a good picture. Is that better, asked Billy. Much better, said Bob. But there aren't any programs worth watching, said Betty. There he is, getting a reception. Now they are making sure that they can actually watch the TV. But there's nothing worth watching. Hmm. Pretty standard problem these days. Let's play some records. I don't have a record player, said Joey. I'll get my stereo, said Bob. And he did. Billy and Betty helped. Yes, he's going to get his music machine and bringing it back. Now, those old days, that's records, so they're just starting to come back. We call them vinyl now, I think. So there they are. So I has now got a television, three children, four children, or three, and a record back on her tummy. They listen to the music and dance. We've played all of the records at Billy. Now what? So there's Mum, hands in her ears, looking exhausted. They've had all the records, and what are they going to do now? Let's form a band and play our own music, said Betty. I've got a guitar, said Joey. Billy and Betty and Bob ran to get their instruments. Gosh. What's mum going to do now? They've got so many instruments in there. Bob brought his horn and Billy brought his drums. There's Bob, his horn, and Billy with his complete set of drums. And Betty brought her piano. Now there's mum. Look at her tummy. It's so full. <gasps> that will. Boo, said Mother. All those big capital letters. That will do. Her tummy just can't get any bigger. Out, out, everybody out, she said. Out went the TV and the stereo. Out went Bob and his horn. Out went Billy and the drums. Look, drums running out everywhere. Everything's been thrown out. Mum's had enough. 
Out went Betty and her piano. Out went Joey. Oops, said Mum. I didn't mean to throw out you. Let's have a look at that one. A little Joey. Well, as long as I am out, said Joey, may I go and play? Yes, said Mum. But time will get lost. And that's the end of the story of Joey, who had some friends over to play instead of in his playground or his bedroom, but in his mummy's bath.